Goggles are very good for helping people with post-traumatic stress disorder. And so these are folks that have had one or more traumas and they are still very, very troubled by the traumas. They're not looking at it at all in a neutral way. And these goggles fit around the eyes. There's a little window on each, there's, it, the opening rotates. There's a little window that you can use to change the angle of light coming into the eyes. Now what research shows, and this was done at Harvard Medical School, if you change the angle of light coming into the eyes, you're actually activating a different part of the brain as you change the angle. So you can actually activate one part of the brain at a time. When someone experiences a severe trauma, often the memory of it is fragmented. They remember a sound here, a, a picture here, a feeling here, and, and so on, but these are all stored up in different areas of the brain. Even if the person truly believes they remember the whole thing, they, they hardly ever do. So as we turn the windows and we're activating one part of the brain after another, what's happening there is that the person is consciously having access to what happened, and they're doing it in a controlled way, so it's not at all overwhelming. They're often quite relaxed during this. They can then integrate the experience and then let go of it. What we also know that's happening neurologically is that that memory is moving over uh, from what is an, an initial storage area in the brain, like raw data. It's moving over to a long-term storage area. And the reason that people have flashbacks is that those memories have not gotten moved over into that long-term storage area. They're in the raw data storage area, which makes them feel like they're still happening. It's right now. And that's what a flashback is. So af often after one session with the goggles, they have no more flashbacks.